No, let go of my paper. Hey. hey, everyone. I hope you're having an amazing, blessed 2023. My 2023 is going absolutely great. God is just so good. Aren't you just grateful that he carried you and your family over into a new year? That you're healthy, that you're blessed, that you're well. You woke up with breath in your body. That means that God is not done with you. He still has purpose for you to bring glory to him. Okay, so just say yes. Anyways, I wanted to do this video on how to strengthen yourself in the Lord because I understand that life gets hard, life gets overwhelming, you feel weak, especially as a stay-at-home mom, a mom period, like, I get you. I'm a, I'm a homeschooling mom, stay-at-home mom of a six-year-old and a four-month-old, so it definitely gets hard. You see, baby boy, it definitely gets hard, you guys. But one thing that I cannot deny is the times that I feel like I'm so weak, like, it's just hard, like, God, how? It's just, like, right when I, when I just get to the point where I feel like I'm gonna scream, like, I just get this joy and this peace that just pushes me forward. And I know that God is real. I just know that he's strengthening me and he'll strengthen you too. So here are some ways on how to strengthen yourself in the Lord. Please hit that like, comment below, subscribe if you are loving these encouraging videos. 1 Samuel 30 and 6 talks about encouraging yourself. Encourage yourself in the Lord, y'all. David, it says in 1 Samuel 36, David was greatly distressed because the men were talking of stoning him. Each one was bitter in spirit because of his sons and daughters, but David found strength in the Lord. If David can find strength in the Lord and encourage himself in the midst of being threatened to be stoned in the valley of the shadow of death, he lost his wives. Can you imagine losing your, your children, your husband, your wife? Can you imagine losing that and threaten, being threatened to be stoned, but you're still encouraging yourself? And then God gives you the victory through through the midst of it. Look, if David could do it, you could do it too. You can be strengthened too. God will strengthen you. God is no respecter of person. You just got to have faith. You got to ask. What is that verse? Ask and it shall be given unto you. Seek, knock. I'll put that verse on the screen, you guys. So another way, one of my favorite ways to be strengthened in the Lord when just things get just so crazy where I just don't know what else to do is praise and worship, you guys. I literally, you know, this is literally one of my weapons. I'll turn on one of my favorite worship songs, Firm Foundation. Ah! Christ is my firm foundation. Ah! The rock on which I stand Whenever it, everything around me is shaking i never been more glad Cause I put my faith in Jesus That's one of my favorite um, songs that I sing And it's like I'm being recharged It's like I'm resetting It's like <clears throat> I'm an iPhone that is on the charger Being charged up It's like I am I have a glass that was half empty But it's being filled all the way up to the top Overflowing when I'm worshiping And I'm praising God Praise and worship is also a posture You're posturing yourself before God You're letting God know God, I know you're the one that in control I praise you because I've lost control But I know that you have have all control i believe that you can strengthen me in the midst of all this chaos i got joy in chaos i got peace that makes no sense yeah another another thing is it's a stillness you're 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 still you're you're in that place of stillness where you can hear god you can even oh i feel the holy spirit you can even hear god in the midst of your worship and praise like even the song sometimes when you hear the songs they are ministering to you you ever heard a god a gospel song where you just like oh i feel the holy spirit where you just connect to that song like that song is just speaking everything that you're going through y'all i'm telling you you know when everything gets crazy you know and then another thing would be okay so second corinthians one three and four Praise be to God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all troubles <clears throat> so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we we receive our, ourselves from God. Okay, guys. So, God, when we praise God, God is there to comfort us through our Lord Jesus Christ. And as you're being comforted, when you are comforted, you go and comfort somebody else. And you know, it's funny because I was told, uh, I think a week or two ago, that I needed to go on a fast, that I needed to sit down and get off of YouTube and go encourage myself or I try to get on camera and encourage somebody else. <clears throat> Excuse me, but last time I checked, um... There's only one God, and if 
You know, on my TTC journey, <clears throat> if I didn't get up there and share my story and encourage somebody else as I, you know, as I was encouraging myself through that journey, getting those negatives, but still trying to keep the faith, you know, another, another person wouldn't have had been, you know, to be encouraged, but it's great that I, I shared that video. I mean, I shared my hard times and I shared like shared me strengthening myself because it's just the way that God got glory of it. So no, you don't have to be perfect before you get on camera and, 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 or do, or encouraging somebody else. None of us are perfect. We all are a work in progress. Okay. As you are being strengthened, as you are encouraging yourself, yeah, be encouraged, get encouraged, but don't, don't think you got to have it all together before you go out there and encourage somebody else. You are over, you're also, you also overcome by the words of your testimony, you know? And if, if I'm going through something, excuse me, if I'm going through something, I know there's somebody else that's going through something that needs to be strengthened. I'm going to go in there and tell them, look, Jesus loves you. He hears you. He loves you. He cares for you. Be, be, be encouraged. I just went through this today and God is encouraging me. So I, I'm going to do that, period. I don't care. I don't care. Another way that you can encourage yourself is prayer, okay? Prayer is another way to encourage yourself. In Philippians 4 and 6, it talks about do not be anxious about anything. Don't be anxious about your troubles. Don't be anxious about your chaos. Know that. Know the one who's in control. Know the one that you're praising, you're worshiping, that you're humbling yourself before is going to, 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 to bring it all together. It's going to work out. <clears throat> and also... He wants you to be in prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Praise God. I know you're working this out. You worked it out before. I'm just thankful because you're, 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 you're just, you're, you're going to get the glory out of this situation. All things work together for my good. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. And also you can let your request be made known unto God. Let your request may be made known to God, but let your request be known to where it is made to glorify him. For his will, according to his will, because his ways, his thoughts are higher than ours, okay? Also, once you do that, once you be in prayer, once you just thanking God in gratitude, you are going to have this peace which surpasses all understanding. You're going to be like, look, things were just crazy, but it it don't make sense how much, how much peace and how much joy that I got you guys. It don't make sense. It don't make sense how much peace and how much joy that I got you guys. Okay. But that's how you know that God is with you. He's strengthening you. Okay. So let me tell you guys something. When you come before God and you ask for strength, you know what? You got to have that faith. That's what faith pleases God. Okay. And in Matthew 17, 14 and 21, it talks about how the disciples could not cast a demon out of a boy. And they came before Jesus and said, Jesus, why we can't cast this demon out? Why can't we cast this out? And Jesus said to them, because your unbelief, for surely I say to you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, all you need is a mustard seed of faith, y'all. You will say to this mountain, move from here to there. And it will move and nothing will be impossible for you. So before you come to the king, you need to have faith that he's going to carry you through. That he's going to just make make a, be make a beautiful mazark, whatever, out of your chaos. I don't even know what a mazark is. Why I say mazark? But you know what? So yeah, you guys, be strengthened in the Lord. I'm almost done, baby, baby. He's being so good, you guys. Look at this little baby. And then also, I just want to share a couple more things, you guys, on how to, how you can strengthen yourself in the Lord. What you can do is you can set a wallpaper on your phone on like an encouraging Bible verse that encourages encourages you. You can um, set an encouraging quote. Um, you can also, there's just so many ways, you guys. Look up some Bible verses on the internet that relate to your situation and write them down and quote them daily because as you quote these Bible verses and these scriptures out of your mouth, you're going to be encouraged because faith comes by hearing. So a lot of times what I say is I say, you know, when I'm having a hard day and I just feel so weak and I say, do um be strong, be courageous, do not be dismayed for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. I'm, 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 I'm saying the word of God to where I hear it. I meditate on that word so that when I say it, it is a part of me. I'm just saying it to strengthen my faith, you know? I hope that you guys enjoyed this 
video. I hope that you are strengthened in the Lord. And this, with this background, let me know if you guys like this background. This background is actually going to have more of like a boho look added to it. It's going to have like, um, I want to do like some greenery on it, some boho decor on it. That's what I want to do. Um, so let me know if you guys like this new encouraging videos. And I'm going to just be, you know, be led by the Holy Spirit. I'm going to talk to God and I'm going to just push these video out because I know I'm not the only mom, only person where life just gets harder. You just need a good, encouraging word. You know, the Bible says, I will boast gladly in my weaknesses. You know, God is going to give you strength. Okay. Okay. So anyways, stay encouraged in the Lord. Till next time, like, comment, subscribe. Bye.